Hey guys, I'm Bagsy and you're watching Max Throttle Magazine. Who is Steve Bagsy? Uh, so, Steve Bagsy Biagioni is uh, a British driver from Essex and uh, you know, I just got I just got real lucky really early uh, in my racing career. I started racing in go-karting when I was real young um, and then went into motocross and then did a little bit of circuit racing and uh, I really had more fun with uh, drift cars. You know, I, I saw drifting one night uh, a bunch of my friends have kind of just started doing it and uh, I really I really enjoyed the uh, excitement that everybody got from seeing drifting so I went out and bought a, a Volvo 340 um, and started modifying it to try and make it uh, competitive yeah kind of failed a little bit and then uh, bought a Nissan and then that's kind of where my journey with drifting started yeah can you tell, tell us a bit about the car you have now uh, so this is a PS13 um, we got this car about a year ago, um, probably actually just like over a year ago, um, and we decided with uh, Abbey Motorsport that we were going to fit a V6, so it's running a VQ motor from a 350Z, um, turbocharged, um, with a, four, a full forged engine, um, it has about 750 wheel horsepower, um, it's got a three-way ST suspension, um, a quite sequential gearbox, so it's a, it's a real cool car. We're still developing it. Um, we've only just really started finish, uh, finishing the uh, the final touches on it. We're just getting to start to get confident with the car. And uh, yeah, it's really exciting to drive. And, and why the choices in engine and gearbox? Have you done some trial and errors? Um, or? Well, it, the engine, it was really um, Abbey Motorsport. They, they had some really good experience with the VQ motor in a drag car that they built years ago. Uh, they won quite a lot of uh, awards for the for the racing and drag uh, with that with that platform. So we decided that we wanted to do something similar um, and we decided that that would be a, a good way forward for us. And we've worked with Quaif um, for three or four years now with their 69G sequential gearbox. Yeah. So it was just natural that we put that into this car uh, when we built it. Yeah. So if you could pick a favorite drift car from any series in the world, which car is your favorite? Um, I'm a big fan of the uh, the GTR, uh, the Kawabata drives in uh, in Japan. Yeah. Uh, I got to see this car live uh, a couple of years ago when I competed in D1 Japan. Um, it's an incredible machine, you know, and uh, it really uh, inspired me to, uh, if I ever got the opportunity to uh, build a GTR. So you attended several events all over the world yeah which one is your favorite um, I mean I've got the I've had the opportunity to race in Japan in China South Africa um, but for me the, the most exciting event I get to go to every year is uh, Monza rally show in Italy uh, it's uh, it's a rally event but I get to open uh, each stage of the rally is a zero zero car and I get to drift like the whole stage rally on tarmac yeah um, you know, and rally fans are incredible, you know. They're really having a great time. And for me to come around the circuit completely sideways, making loads of smoke, gets them really excited. So yeah. I, have a, I have a blast going to Monza Rally every year. Your favorite uh, from the drift drive? Um, that's a good one. Um, when I when I first started when I first started drifting, um, I was a big fan of uh, Dio Shiara. I really liked his style. I really enjoyed watching his videos that he made uh, on Network A called Behind the Smoke, um, and that really inspired me to do certain things differently. It inspired me to do some to try and make some cool content that other people didn't, would enjoy it off of the back of watching those videos. Um, obviously we're supporting Vaughn uh, in Formula D because he's obviously part of the Monster family. Um, but yeah, I suppose I suppose realistically, uh, you know, this year we're all about James Dean because he's a fellow European driver got into that championship um, and he's doing really well. So this year we're all supporting James for yeah. sure. 
And uh, the last one, you've been racing for driving for several years. Have you had any big crashes? Um, I've had a few. I mean, nothing too serious that's put me in hospital yet. Um, but there's been a few for sure. We managed to uh, put one of the drift cars on its roof once, um, which was a bit of a mistake from our point of view. You know, we took the car that probably wasn't quite ready to an event because we was rushing. But you know, we've learned from our mistakes, and uh, you know. You know, it's a, it's a, it's exciting for the crowd if nothing else. To see yeah, some crashes. So, yeah, some small crashes, but nothing serious. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. all part of the game. You know, if it wasn't dangerous, it wouldn't be exciting. Yeah, and if it wasn't exciting, no one would come watch it. Oh, exactly.